Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Life. It has been a while since I posted anything to my social media because I have been going through a health challenge that prevented me from doing so. Since on this channel, we instill hope and positivity in order to help you live a happy and fulfilled life, I want to share my journey with dealing with this health challenge with you in the hopes that I can help you or you can help a loved one that is going through the same challenge. So let me share my journey with you. Almost five to six years ago, I woke up with this extremely loud noise in my head, and I wasn't sure what was that. So I booked an appointment with my physician who did general testing and then referred me to my specialist. If you live in Canada, you know that it will take at least three months, six months, or even a year to see a specialist. In the meantime, I had to deal with that sound, which I didn't know what was going on in my head. So do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you know. You know this ringing in your ears that you hear after going to a concert and then it goes away by itself? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about ringing. I don't know who called it ringing, but I'm talking about this symptom that is called tinnitus or tinnitus. So you're going to tell me what's the big deal? It comes and goes and it just goes away after a few seconds. And I'm going to tell you this. This is not true for many people. It may be you one of them. It may be a loved one that you know. And that's why I want to share my personal journey with dealing with tinnitus. Now, 15 to 20% of people in North America usually experience it. However, 1 to 2% experience it in an extreme loud noise that it impacts their lives and it cripples them. Unfortunately, I was one of those 1 to 2% in the population. The tinnitus that I had was so severe and so loud that it was so crippling. For many, many days and many months, I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't even confirm any appointments. I couldn't even go out with friends. I couldn't be on social media. I couldn't connect with you. And that impacted my life tremendously and caused so much hardship for me, my life, my work, and for even the quality of my life. So what happened is, okay, so I got this loud noise, which I don't know what caused it. And then after months and months of waiting, I got to see the specialist. And when I went to see him, he did some testing. And then he looked at me and he said, well, there's nothing wrong. You don't have wax in your ears. There is no tumor, so there is nothing else that you can do. Just forget about it. I said, what? Forget about it? How can I even forget about it when that sound is roaring in my head day and night? I can't sleep, I can't work, I can't function. And you're telling me to forget about it? I was very upset with him, of course, because he didn't offer me any solutions or treatments for what I was going through. 
And that's what started me on this whole journey of looking for solutions and strategies to help me deal with it. Probably he's right. Today, I would agree with him because after six years of searching and I still cannot find a solution to cure it. So let me tell you right now, there is no cure for it, not just yet, but I'm hoping that something is going to happen or a solution will come up in the near future. However, if someone told me then this in a totally different way, I would have accepted it even more. So I think it's very important how we tell even people that there is no hope and there is no solution for what they're going through. There's always hope and there's always a solution. It may not be available at the moment, but there will be one. So never give up hope and keep trying. I am still trying and that's why I'm sharing this journey with you. That's why we have this channel to instill hope and positivity despite all the negativity that's around us, despite the challenges that we go through. So I hope by sharing my experience and the solutions that I tried so far, you can benefit from them. Next time, we're going to be talking about tinnitus symptoms, what it is, what causes it, and how the brain deals with it. And then we're going to talk later on about treatments, and then we're going to get into short videos that I have taped over the past year during COVID to convey some of the solutions that I have tried in order to give you some ideas that you may want to try. So I'll see you next time. Thank you. Be happy. Be blessed. Be kind. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.